Okay, another quick useful tip, uh, how to make a seamless background or uh, basically just a seamless image. This will be a repeatable pattern image that uh, doesn't reveal any seams. Okay, we're going to start on our background layer here. We're going to click Control J and from there we are going to go up here to the filter menu, down to other, all the way down to other, and then all the way down to offset. And this will basically shift the sides over to the middle and then bring the top or bottom down to the middle and basically you are now seeing the edges of the image but in the middle of the image. So now these images are actually wrapped around to the opposite side of the picture. Okay, um, And you can slide these sliders around if you wanted to bring it, get it closer to the center. Um, it's it's going to be easier to uh, complete if the uh, seams are basically right there in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect though. Alright, so this is a pixel based measurement. So if you have a, uh, what would this be, 15? So if you have a 3000 pixel image, um, 1500 is going to put you right in the middle and 3200 is going to um, be 1700. Get you right in the middle there. Okay, we're going to click OK on that. And now here's a quick tip too. If you are taking a picture intentionally for the reason of making a seamless background, you want to try and get as even toned lighting as possible. Um, color temperatures, um, different tones, different lighting, shadows, everything are going to show up very... You, you won't even realize it in the original image. You're like, yep, that looks like a fairly even toned image, but it's warmer down here, it's cooler up here, it's darker over here and it's gonna reveal itself big time when you um, do that and the only note about that is it's gonna be easier to um, it's gonna be easier to make seamless if everything is much closer to the same tone um, it's not gonna be that hard in this particular image because of the this pattern is so rough and random that it's gonna be easier to fill in our next step on this particular image the way I would the way I would do this would be to come over here and alt click on the background I mean on the um, add a layer mask and that will uh, totally hide that. And now we need to go back and reveal the edges of this mask so that we get our seamlessness back on the edges. Um, there's a number of different ways you can do this. I'm just going to simply do it by grabbing my brush tool, get a good sized brush up here, painting on the mask with white to reveal the edges. I'm going to click once up in this corner, shift click down here, shift click here, shift click all the way around the image, and basically what I've done is, is revealed the edges of the image um, which you can kinda see now. Now from that point um, and so now basically I, I have a seamless image because I have gone back and revealed the edges of this I now my seamlessness is there um, this is gonna connect down with over here this is gonna connect with over here and I have the seamlessness but it doesn't really look that great I can kinda see the edges up and around this so what we're gonna do now is we're going to zoom in and we are going to go over to the corner and now I'm going to be going, I'm going to actually reduce the size of my brush here and now I'm going to be going back and forth between the black and white brush um, and painting in here if you stay along these black lines here on this particular image, if you stay along areas that would, would present themselves as natural transition areas it's going to look much more realistic um, so now I can kind of fill in there and obviously this is going to um, this is going to be a time-based project where the more time you spend on it, the more time you spend on it, the more realistic it's going to look. Um, come in here and just kind of follow lines and and make it look less um, aware, less less uh, less obnoxious on those um, seams. And here, right here, I want to get to this is where you can still see the old seam of the um, of, of where we did our offset filter and right here you can reduce the size of the brush nice and low here and and with the black selected you're gonna come in just get right next to the edge there and then kinda pull away and then you can go ahead and, and get back in. Now I've, I've erased that line there so that's not visible and what you would need to do is go to all four of those points there where you're going to be able to see that line. You can see it right here and you would eliminate that. Just and you know I'm doing this quickly um, for time's sake. You would the, the longer you spend on this the more um, natural it's going to look. Here's the uh, other line. 
and then up here as well you'll see the other line up there all right so I've already gone through and um, and completed one of these just to show you how it looks I'm gonna go and turn this layer on turn the group there on and we will back out and that is what you get and if you wanted to check just to see how it looked you could come up here control alt shift E duplicate everything up onto its own layer up here um, it will flatten um, everything into a new layer while maintaining your um, layers below I use that shortcut all the time and let's go up here and go filter all the way down to other all the way down to offset and what we're gonna do is just offset it again and basically we just split it again but now you can see there are no seams here we now have a seamless image okay and one last point about this is that um, if you are going to use this as a um, as a website background or anything like that you're gonna wanna save this out appropriately you're actually gonna wanna reduce the size I have an immensely large image right here if you're gonna use this as a website background you want to come in here um, image size and bring this down to a much smaller image and then also do a save for web and reduce the um, or, or increase the compression so that it it's an easier load on um, slower systems that's it I hope you enjoyed it